Hey guys, you're watching Knowledge About Everything. Imagine that there is a boy who belongs to a middle class family who is very weak in studies and never gets good marks. He also has an issue with a stutter, which he can't even speak. Now, if you are asked what will be the future of such a boy and will he be able to achieve any significant success in his life, then what will you say? Of course, any person will think that that boy will not be able to do anything special in his life. Still, here I tell you that if that boy works hard, he can become the President of the United States. The name of the boy we are talking about now is Joe Biden. In this video, I will tell the whole story of Joe Biden from his early life to becoming President. Before starting the video, you are requested to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon given below so that the notification of every interesting upcoming video reaches you first. The current President of the United States, Biden, whose life is full of many difficulties and sorrows, is a living example of the fact that if a person continues to work honestly and work hard, then one day he will get success, and behind the success of Joe Biden is hidden his lifelong hard work and arduous struggle. Biden's story began on November 20, 1942, when he was born in Scranton, Pennsylvania. His full name at birth was Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., and his father's name was Joseph Robinette Biden Sr. Biden's family had two brothers and one sister, and he is the eldest of four siblings. Joe Biden was born in a middle-class family, his father was a businessman, and he was in the oil business. By the way, Biden's father's business was going very well. Still, after the birth of Biden, his father started losing in business, and suddenly his father's business ended ultimately. After the business was utterly destroyed, his father searched for a job. According to the situation, he was ready to do the minor job for his family. Still, Biden's father had a lot of difficulties getting a job, and Joseph Biden spent his childhood in his grandfather's house until his father was looking for a job. Biden's father finally got a job as a car salesman in 1953. He called this job in Delaware, due to which his entire family had to shift to Clayman, Delaware. Biden's whole family lived in a small apartment in this city for many years, and Biden completed his high school education in the same town. Due to dire circumstances, Biden was weak in his studies from childhood. He could not get good marks even though he worked hard, but Biden was a good baseball player and a part of his school's baseball team. Apart from sports, Biden also had the qualities of becoming a leader, that's why he was also made the president of his class. At that time, hardly anyone would have thought that the boy being made the president of the class would become the president of the entire country in the future. Biden was very fond of giving speeches from the beginning. Still, he could not speak even while giving a speech due to his stuttering problem. Whenever he used to see great leaders giving speeches, he also wanted to make such speeches too, but because of his disrespect, people used to make fun of him, that's why he couldn't do speeches. He used to have many problems while giving a speech and usually talking. Biden used to work very hard to overcome this problem, he said in an interview that he would stand in front of the mirror and give speeches for many hours to overcome this problem. He used to practice speaking with a stone on his tongue, and after working hard for many years, he finally managed to get rid of this problem. In 1961, Biden completed his high school studies, and by then, his father's work had become relatively stable. His father bought a house in Wilmington, after which his whole family shifted from Clayman to Wilmington. After that, Joe Biden was admitted to the University of Delaware and started studying history and political science there. His academic performance was the same in university as in school because, in 1965, he was able to get his degree, but his rank was 506 in a class of 688 students, and he was given a grade C. After that, Biden also entered Syracuse University and started studying law here. At the same university, he met his first wife, Nellia Hunter. Then they got married in 1966 before completing their studies. Then going forward in 1968, Biden completed his law degree, and this time he topped his class from behind because he got the 75th rank out of 85 students in his class. 
From this, you can guess that Joe Biden was not good at studying. It didn't mean that he didn't have the ability, Biden had all the qualities to be a good leader, and he recognized his abilities well, so he chose politics as his career. A few years later, in 1970, Biden was elected to the county council seat, after which he continued to practice his law along with the council until 1972, at that time, people were very impressed by Biden's work and leadership qualities. And people had suggested to Biden that he should also contest the next senior election. Then Biden started preparing for the next senior election by following the people's advice. Before the election, something happened to Biden that completely shook him. On December 18, 1972, Biden's wife and his one-year-old daughter died in a road accident, and his two sons also suffered severe injuries in this accident. This sudden accident completely broke Biden, and then he decided to leave politics for a while to focus on raising his sons, but then Senator Mike Miles told Joe Biden. He explained that he should not back down from the elections and must fight the elections. After a lot of hard work, Biden agreed to fight the polls, and then Biden became the sixth youngest senator of the United States at the age of 20, he served as a senator from 1973 to 2009. While a senator, Biden impressed everyone with his work. He always focused on issues that benefited the ordinary people, and his work was rewarded in 2009 when he was appointed vice president under Barack Obama and thus became the 47th vice president of the United States. Became Barack Obama and Joe Biden are considered very close friends, and often they are seen praising each other. The last time, i.e., in the 2020 presidential election, Obama was seen campaigning in support of Biden. Here, let me tell you one more thing Joe Biden was not sure about contesting the 2020 presidential election, and he made this decision only after much thought. Now that he has become the President of the United States, we can say that his decision was entirely correct. Biden promised that if he became president, he would first work on solving problems like climate change, pollution, and global warming, because, in his eyes, these problems are as significant as the country's economy and GDP. So let's end this video.